Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. So, how do you tell people that you're not drinking who are encouraging you to just have one? Go on, just have one. You've decided not to drink alcohol, you go into a party. And then people are noticing that you're drinking water or soda water and they're saying to you, go on, just have one or Ooh, what's going on? You're not drinking at the moment. I'm James Swanick from the Alcohol Freedom Formula. There's some free resources down below. Click on those to get started on your alcohol freedom journey. It's the classic social peer pressure scenario, isn't it? Where you've made this healthy decision to be alcohol free and now everyone's questioning you about it. It's normal. Society is so indoctrinated with this idea that alcohol is normal and fun and pleasurable, which is a nonsense, and they're on you the whole time. In fact, alcohol is like this, the only drug out there where if you aren't drinking, they think that you have a problem. <laughs> you have a problem, must have a problem with alcohol. It's like heroin, everyone's like, oh, the problem's heroin. Cocaine, oh, the problem's cocaine. But it's like drinking, if you're not drinking, it's like, oh, you're the problem. It's like, oh, he's got a drinking problem. It's kind of crazy the way that society has set this up. So how do you respond? What are some things that you can do? Well, in my experience, it doesn't so much matter what you say in response to someone encouraging you to have a drink. As it is, is the way that you respond to them. Okay, so if you say, oh, no, I'm not drinking at the moment. No, I can't. No, people are going to go, oh, you're not drinking at the moment. Oh, gee, mm, must have a problem. Or go on, you'll be okay. You haven't drunk in like two weeks. Just have one. Come on, but it's my birthday. It's my celebration. It's my anniversary. Come on, let's go. Some variation of that, right? Now, if you're like going, oh, no, I can't. I shouldn't drink. I have to quit. I'm like, oh, gee, oh, oh, oh then you are telling yourself that you're depriving yourself of something fun and pleasurable by not drinking. And you're also telling your social group, your friends, your peers, whoever's at the party, that you're also depriving yourself of fun and excitement and joy. And so now they think that you're a buzzkill, right? But if you decline the drink and you do it in a way that shows that you are powerful and confident and happy and joyful, while drinking your soda water ice and a piece of lime or your water or whatever it is that's non-alcoholic then they can't pressure you into anything they have a good time you have a good time and we go along our merry way so for example if they say to you oh why aren't you drinking at the moment instead of you saying oh geez like I need to take a break you just say oh yeah I'm just uh, alcohol free at the moment actually I'm just doing running a little experiment seeing how I feel so far it's been good I'm just uh, drinking water tonight Go on, just have one. It's my birthday. It's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. But watch me dance from the tables tonight. I'm going to swing from the rafters. I'm going to like drink you under the table. I tell you what, you drink your beer and I'll drink my soda water and we'll see who's still standing. Ha, 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 ha. So you see how the way that you're doing it is light and fun and playful. You're doing it with a smile on your face. You're not doing it like, oh, no, I can't drink at the moment. It's like, oh, no, I'm not drinking at the moment. You might say, oh, no, I'm not drinking at the moment. But you go right ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me a water, ice, and a piece of lime. I'm good. When they say, go on, just have one. I say, just have one. No, I want 10 soda waters and a piece of lime. And you make a little joke about it. You're like, go on, have one. Ah, I'm too strong in mind. I'm too strong in mind. See how you're a, little, you're a little bit cheeky about it? You're a bit playful about it? Now they see you feeling confident about the fact that you are not drinking and they let it go. And if they don't let it go, it's not this heavy, dark kind of thing. You're not being the buzzkill. You're not being the killjoy. You're just being you, fun and happy and confidently drinking your water, ice and a piece of lime. And you know what? If the truth is, is that you did drink too much and you did make some stupid mistakes, then make fun of yourself. You say, oh, I pushed it too hard. Oh, I've made this dumb mistake. I did this stupid thing. I'm actually just on the waters and I'm actually realizing I quite like it. It's actually good, I'm, I'm feeling hydrated, I'm good, and I got energy. I'm gonna dance you under the table, my friend, tonight. While you're passing out in the corner, I'm gonna be rocking and rolling. And so you just make fun of it. Make fun of yourself. Make light of the situation. And don't hide the fact that you're not drinking. In fact, you want people to know that you're not drinking as long as you are letting them know in a way where 
you are confident and powerful and fun and you're not coming from an energy of I'm depriving myself of something or that I'm the only one who can't have fun at the party. So when someone is like saying to you, go on, just have one, say, make it a hundred waters or yeah, I'll have one. I'll have a soda water ice and a piece of lime, thanks. Yeah, no, I'm not tricking at the moment, actually, I'm taking a break. Yeah, I've been going like three months now, I actually feel, feel pretty good. Key distinction here though, don't make someone else feel bad for drinking. So don't get on your high horse or preachy and start like judging people because they're drinking and you're not, all right? Just own yourself, own your own situation. Be light, be fun, be easy, be confident, smile. No one will be able to make you feel bad. Go ahead, post a comment down below, like this video, share it, and let me know what you think. What other tips have you got for having a good time socializing with friends who are encouraging you to have a drink? What are some key phrases that you have said to people trying to get you to drink? I wanna hear from you. Post a comment down below. Thank you so much for listening. I have some free stuff for you. If you go to jameswanick.com forward slash guide, I will send you my formula for reducing or quitting alcohol. If you'd like to watch the video versions of these episodes, then you can watch them at my YouTube channel, which is at James Swanick. If you'd like to send me a direct message on Instagram, you can do so at James Swanick. If you would like to try a three-day challenge, a free three-day challenge, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash three-day challenge. If you would like to try the 30-day no alcohol challenge, you can go to 30-day no alcohol challenge. If you would like to schedule a 15-minute exploratory call with one of my coaches to see how we may be able to help you in your alcohol-free journey, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule. And my request is, if indeed you enjoyed this episode or you have enjoyed the podcast, would you please go ahead and rate the show in iTunes and would you please write a review? A review might just be a sentence saying, great, listen, hey, this was fantastic. Oh, I really enjoyed this. Whenever you give a rating, whenever you write a review, it surges our podcast up in the rankings, enabling more people to see it and hear it and potentially inspiring someone out there to reduce or quit alcohol and potentially transform their life. So yes, while it does help me to get ratings and to get reviews, you will actually be directly contributing to helping someone's life by having them discover this podcast. So if you are open to inspiring others and to helping me in the process, would you please go ahead and give this episode a ranking and would you please write a review? Thank you so much for listening and I will catch you on the next one.